Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition, Love and General Reading. This is for the element of Earth. So if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of April the, the 19th through the 21st, 2024. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate. Um, if you're wanting to book a personal reading, uh, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. And also your uh, individual sign readings are uh, moved to Patreon. Alright, so you have the overall energy as the Six of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Tower. You have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Swords, High Priestess. Knight of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. All right, so I feel like maybe you had been going through a lot of chaos. Um, maybe there's been like a, a lot of uh, disruptions in your life. Um, I feel like maybe you've also had some sort of awakening or realizations and um, I kind of feel like all of this has kind of guided you on the path that you're on now uh, things do seem to be settling down um, after coming from some sort of chaotic moment um, I feel like you are currently in a state in a state of like calmness or peace However, it does look as if you're going to meet some more challenges or there's going to be more drama and or distractions. And if not you, like you being directly involved, it could be happening around you. There could be people who are bickering around you. Um, it does seem to like maybe every time you feel calm or peaceful there is something or someone that wants to uh, disturb that peace I feel like maybe someone is trying to push your buttons um, or someone is just in general trying to get your attention I mean it could be a situation where spiritually you know your guides are just trying to get you to move get you uh, to do something uh, that will get you out of your comfort zone because it does seem like maybe you have a tendency to overthink and, um, you know, become paralyzed by your own thoughts. And I feel like this is something that you're needing to get away from. Um, you also, also might find yourself too easily influenced um, by, you know, negative thoughts uh, somebody might say one thing and then you start it starts to loop in your mind maybe you start to read in between the lines or just like take things too deeply or you know maybe this is how you feel about somebody maybe you say certain things and then whoever this person is around you just kind of like blows it up in their mind um, <sighs> hmm I feel that you are just kind of like trapped though uh, in your own thoughts. Uh, I feel like there are some sort of frustrations. I feel like you want to break free, but you're having a hard time doing it. It seems like maybe there's a lot of obstacles around you. Maybe you feel like you put yourself in some sort of strange or weird position and you're like, how do I get myself out of this? I just feel like you're imprisoned by your own thoughts. Um, hmm. I feel like you're needing to breathe or find a way to calm yourself calm your nerves um, you might need to do so take some sort of um, do some sort of breathing techniques or practice some form of 
prayer or meditation, whatever works for you. I just feel like you need to like relax. It also could be that driving, uh, just driving around, driving around the block um, will help you relax. Maybe you need to get out the house for air if you've been too isolated. Um, I'm kind of getting something about embarrassment too. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting, like some strange mental blockages. Um, dealing with embarrassment or body dysmorphia. Like something's all in your mind. Hmm. You also may have had some sort of dream that has you on edge or has you paranoid, especially if your dreams normally come true. Maybe you're just like, oh, I hope this one don't come true. I didn't like that dream. Now, there's also the possibility that the environment that you're in is hostile with spirits. Like there's a lot of hostile spirits around you. Um, so there may be a need to cleanse your space, um, whether it's burning sage or, oh, somebody told me to do the coffee grounds thing in the corners and that did seem to work. Um, so I would recommend that. Um, the minute I felt like some disturbance coming in the house or some sort of disruptive spirit, I, I took them coffee grounds and I put them in the corners of the home and, um, it dissipated. Um, so yeah, anything you can do to clear or protect your space. And thank you for that tip, whoever that was. Um... Hmm. I feel like you are needing to have like a sit down with somebody. Two people are needing to have like um, some sort of conversation to clear the air um, or to clear up any type of confusion. Um, now, it could be a love situation where somebody has been um, too shy to be themselves or to come forward. I do feel like eventually somebody's gonna be able to open up and to just like clear their mind. So I feel like someone's maybe, someone's throat chakra has also been blocked. Mm. I feel like maybe somebody is getting into sound bowls. I don't know if you, if you have your own or if you're going to a place where they do that type of meditation with the sound bowls. Um, you also might just decide that you need to sit in the uh, water, whether you go swimming or you have like a jacuzzi or you just wanna soak in a tub. I feel like you're gonna find peace, like something about water brings you peace. Now, somebody also might be acting delirious because they're dehydrated. Um, so just make sure that you're staying hydrated as well because it does look like a lot of heat like heat could literally be attacking someone's mental capacity. Um, someone also could be suffering from some sort of sexual frustration. Um, so there may, you might have to find another type of creative outlet um, to work on that energy or to, you know, calm that energy. Um, yeah, any, anything that, that keeps you active or gets your heart rate up, that might help.
I almost want to say trouble either follows you or trouble follows someone that comes to you. Like there's someone that come, likes to come into your life or visit you, but it's always followed by trouble. I feel like someone is going to test your patience. I feel like you're having to cut off or disconnect from something or someone that makes you angry. And again, it does look like there's a possible spirit around you causing some sort of disturbance. Something is irritating. Um, even if something like something is like a nuisance, even if it's like a fly or a gnat, it's funny too because um, there have been times where uh, a fly became such a nuisance that it, you know, I had to look it up and I forgot that there is a spirit or a, a demon, um, it starts with a B. And it is symbolized by a fly. Um, I think it's bezel bum or something. But yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> that could be a sign <laughs> or something letting you know like, hey, cleanse your space uh, because that, that spirit is, is there. But I feel like something is going to cease. It's like, uh-uh, not today. have a hard time suppressing your ex um, something's going on where I feel that your ex is like popping up in your thoughts and you're like why are they popping up in my thoughts and I feel like you're trying to stop from thinking of them um, it also could be that if you still care about your ex, you are detecting that this person's in trouble and you're trying to pray for them from a distance. Be careful about the weather. If it's fluctuating too much, you don't want to get a cold or uh, catch the flu. Mm. Somebody also might be a hypochondriac though and think that they have symptoms of everything, but nothing's wrong. Yeah, either you are praying for somebody or somebody's praying for you. Um, yeah. I kind of feel like 
You're also connecting with someone telepathically, te telepathically. Um, I feel like you're tapped into somebody else's energy and maybe you guys are also just kind of like, um, like your wires are like crossed with each other's. You're picking up on their thoughts, their tastes, their desires and vice versa. Mm. Hmm. You might secretly want a vacation or to get away from somebody. Hmm. Things could be, um, something could be stressing you out like about work or money. I feel like there is something that you are needing the courage to do though. And I feel like your spirit team is kind of like pushing you and you're kind of like trying to push back, but they're like pushing you forward and kind of like you can do this. I feel like something isn't as bad as you think. You might believe that someone is your soulmate, and I do feel like somebody is your soulmate, or you, but I feel like you have more than one. You might be wanting to know, like, but who is the one? I feel like this is one of those situations where you just have multiple soulmates to choose from. It can be whoever you choose to be with. Mm. There does seem to be some sort of uh, potential power struggles in a situation. I feel that either you are starting to have romantic feelings for somebody uh, or somebody is starting to have romantic feelings for you. Mm. Somebody might put, put it out there like, you know, I don't know. I just kind of feel like somebody might try to put it out there that they're interested and just kind of like leave it up to you whether or not you want to respond to them or go out with them or whatever. And it seems like you are thinking about it. Mm. You also might be happy to know that uh, somebody is thinking about you. All right, let's pull some energy cards. All right, additional messages for 
Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, you have financial constraints, strategy, journey, overall energy, uh, deceit. Hmm. So, it could be that you're trying to devise some sort of plan to get away from a situation or to leave a situation. There's a possibility that someone is willing to risk it all um, to have something else. If someone is desperate enough to get out of a relationship, I feel that they would pack up all their things and only take you know, the clothes on their back, whatever can fit in their bag. It's just like, I'm, I'm leaving. Like, I don't want to be in this situation anymore. It's unhealthy. I'm getting out of here. So I feel like somebody is willing to uh, get away from a situation, even if it leaves them with nothing or having to start over. Um, and then, like I said, whatever's going on, it seems like it's uh, through deception because it seems like somebody is sneaking out. Um, hmm. uh, I'm concerned about your finances too, just in general. Maybe you're needing to be careful what you invest your money into or if somebody is asking to borrow money, I feel like don't ex don't lend it unless you don't need it because I don't feel like this person can give it back even if their intentions are there. Um, hmm. I feel like you're also having to put something to paper and then to help you like get a grip on your reality and with that I feel like you can do something about it you're like okay now that I have this in place this is what I'm gonna do and you start going off of some sort of checklist um, it just helps you stay orderly hmm. again I'm concerned about somebody's health somebody might be in denial um, or ignoring uh, some sort of symptoms that need to be looked at. Mm. Okay, this is kind of random, but I just kind of feel like somebody is like, um, somebody is a street pharmacist, basically. I'm seeing someone taking their unused medications and selling them but it's also not for greed it's out of necessity somebody is like this is my last option this is what i have like somebody is like i have extra oxy or i have some um extra whatever any type of extra pain medications and I feel like somebody is like selling it. Mm. Hmm. I kind of feel too like somebody is uh, following their uh, manifestation uh, or somebody has like this list of things that they want to manifest and it's kind of like taking the initiative to make it work I don't know why I'm starting to get like something as a magic book or a magic journal it's kind of like watch what you write in it 
All right, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Send you love and grace.